Hello ladies and and irredeemable criminals, this is Spelunky Custom Level Week! We're going to start with Swashbuckling Sir's Honey Ventures or something like that, it is a honey-based level. I promised the man I would play it and I actually have been looking forward very much to playing it, so we're going to see. It's just one level, but it's actually quite the challenge. Uh, it just takes advantage of the horrible, horrible uh, things that honey can do for you. And that is give you diabetes, perhaps give you a mouthful of bees, and apparently also make you able to jump uh, in these uh, staggered ascent just by sticking to the ceiling. This is really weird. It is a mechanic that indeed he notes in the description that hey, nobody's using this stuff, and indeed nobody's using it because maybe because it's horribly difficult. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, how to get through this, but I am sure that I just need to get used to jumping exactly where I need to do. This is just one level, so it might just take me five minutes. I very much doubt it, though. I am pretty sure there's a massive challenge associated with this. There you go. I think the trick is just not being so eager to move. Oh man, I almost fell there. Oh, really? Wow, what a jackass move right there. <laughs> I need to write an ing angry email about that jump over there because it is a lot of bullshit, is what it is. Oh man, really? This is this part is going to take this long. I can only imagine how that that timer that is coming up that is put in the description is going to be holy shit, I am awful. <laughs> this honey, I might have to actually because the repeated tries get a little old. I might have to uh, edit it for your benefit. Damn, this is awful. <laughs> this is the worst. This is the worst. I feel ashamed of myself. I, know I have brought shame to all of my family. I'm going to be disowned. Okay, there you go. I think I, think I kind of sort of got it. That part of the whole thing. But then there's going to be... It was a jump, there you go, oh boy, I actually made that happen. Uh, what I think is I'm going to have to do is make a few shortcuts here. Wow, okay, I thought for sure I was hanging on to that honey. But I suppose not, I, I did exactly this. I don't know why uh, that didn't work, but whatever, man. We're going to continue discovering the properties of this most sticky substance. Holy crap. <laughs> I wonder if it, there's also a trick to actually... There you go. To actually... Um, there you go. Nice, nice. No! There's a trick to uh, going fast. There's uh, only a certain window within which you can jump off. Let's see. I'm kind of getting this part. Yeah, yeah. Totally getting this part. Whoa! Do -do 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 -do. Let's see if we can jump from here. And then just keep running forward. Oh, really? Come on. Going the other way is a completely new puzzle right there. Because you're used to jumping one way and not the other. I am assuming that we're going to need this this boomerang eventually. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm full of hatred right now. I'm full of hatred and poop. I need to go take a dump now. Anyway, that is completely facetious, by the way. I'm not. I, I already did that in the morning. I'm like clockwork in that in that department. Oh man, that's going to be my death. I'm a clockwork in that department. I, I, you thought that I had left that thought behind, but no. I'm going to tell you all about my bathroom issues, uh, or or lack thereof. I just go in the morning, go in the evening. That's that's it. It just gets taken care of. It takes a while, but anyway, I better just leave that thought behind because it's getting a little silly. But hey, here's what uh, repeating attempts will give you: more rant from my mouth to your ears. Holy crap! <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be shameful. This, the rest of this level is going to be so pathetically shameful. I cannot explain how terrible it's going to be. No, 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 I did not jump at the end. I was too hasty at the end and I paid for it. Oh, man. I wonder how that timer is going to work. I am really not fond of that idea. And I just keep jumping into spikes like a moron. So, yeah, there's that bit of shame right there. 
Alright, what I'm going to do is, uh, like a G just saw, I'm going to just skip the repeated attempts, but I'm not going to edit in shortcuts. Well, that was awful. I don't know really what's based there because I I've done the exact same thing over and over. Alright, I, I do the same thing over and over and uh, I did a whole bunch of no new attempts trying to get to this point, but now I feel like I have a at least a good method of going about going about this kind of golly, which is just hit space until you get to the top and then you have to time the last jump right. There we go, let's try this again. Uh, if you spam the jump button trying to get through this, uh, going upwards that is, uh, you are guaranteed to make it up there. And then now I just had to jump this right, oh right! Nice, I think I'm gonna get it, getting a bit of a trick. Was that a bullet? Really? You jackass, freaking swashbuckling, sir. <laughs> Let's go back to the beginning. Let me show you what I have been doing to get through this past. Fast, I just spam the jump button, and it is real easy to make it through this area. Now this is the tricky part, not to fall into the spikes. There we go, nicely. Nicely done, patting the back for myself. All right, let's do this thing again. And this is, I think, going to be vital towards making the timer later. So, okay, what I guess I need is throw this boomerang. Okay, that's not going to work. There's going to be a horrible timer here associated with this. Uh, okay, seems to make it all the way down here. How is that blood not triggering those... Uh, <laughs> not triggering those... Uh, uh, what's it called? Oh, wow, I did not hang on to the to the side of that thing. How that blood is not triggering the power kicks, I have no idea. But whatever, let's just restart. And I think now I am able to get through this part quick enough that uh, uh, I'll need to edit that this attempt right here. Hopefully I won't mess up in this area, which is the part where I continuously mess up. Let's go over here. No, 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 don't jump up, but rather go this way. Bam, the jump button, and now calculate this jump. There we go. And now we have to toss that boomerang. Okay, let's see, how does this timer even work? I have no idea. If This might not be the timer. Yeah, I don't know how that works. I Maybe I cannot whip them. I just need to jump on top of them, perhaps. Or it's, it might be just completely random, you see. I will not lay past the Splunky mechanics. The blood mechanics with the power kicks, the power kicks in general, actually, uh, it's what I have found, are incredibly unpredictable and unreliable. Sometimes they'll do what you want them to do, sometimes they will just spit, at you, spit in your eye and call you a whore. Like uh, that John did to me. What an asshole. Holy crap. Okay, alright, I don't need to hang on to anything. This weirds me out because earlier the power kicks did not uh, explode. Let's skip to this part. Right, let's do this. Now we just jump down here. There's water, so you, we don't even have to do a damn thing. I think what needs to happen is just not run into the frogs. You have to avoid them by jumping. And perhaps even going under them. Oh boy, this is going to be great. This is going to be rich. Oh, this is the timer part. Oh shit, shit, shit. Oh wow, I was so close there. That was a really good one. I might have made it. It's too bad. Let's skip to that area again. Alright, let's see if we can make this happen. Just go all the way down and now just jump over the frogs. I'm going to explode. Holy <laughs> crap, that was close. Okay, we gotta... Actually, no, we can just jump over. That is a little bit of a time waster that I can not do. I am assuming I'm, I'm going to need the damsel for something. That's why... Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. I don't know what the deal with the damsel is. It's uh, running towards that area over there. I guess we'll find out soon enough. And we go again quickly. Oh, man, that sucks. That sucks ass. Uh, sometimes the boomerang, for some reason, will hit the power keg and truncate that timer a lot. Nice. That was pretty cool. Here's the uh, way to not waste so much time over that area. I think we can still make it. I don't know, I guess we need the dance for something, I bet. Oh. Well, let's see what happens when I make it to the end of this area. I suppose that him dying... Oh, we need the corpse to clear the bullet. I believe that's what's happening. Let's try and get through this. 
Let's try and get through this little gauntlet here. This, this is the timer that's happening. I think I can make it okay uh, with enough practice. And uh, just figuring out this area. Oh, if I figure out how to do the last three over there, those are the toughest parts. So let's skip to that area again. Okay, let's not mess this up. Let's take a little bit of time. There you go. Quickly descend. And now get past the frogs. It's not that bad when you learn the patterns. And carefully descend upon the spike pit. And let's see if we can get this correctly. There you go. Oh man, oh man, oh man. Ah, oh, I, I fessed up right there. That's actually a word, but it's not what I th you think it means. Fessing up, I think, is confessing. Which I guess is the, the abbreviation for that. But this timer is just nuts, man. I saw in the ratings some comments saying the timer is brutal. Uh, I think what I can do it like, no, no, I, I need to somehow hang on to the honey. And I think the trick is actually not jumping. That might be the way to go about that. You gotta love this freaking honey. Uh, let's see. I think the trick is just not jumping. Aha! And then just running to it. Alright, this is not so bad, I don't think. Alright, we can make it this way. And of course now, we have no way of clearing those bullets. So we're going to simply kill ourselves. But I'm sure this is going to... I'm so certain this is going to be the, the one run that it's going to be good. I am an idiot. <laughs> Grab the boomerang. Uh, I'm so certain that this is going to be the, the final run. That I'm going to not edit this part. I'm not going to edit it. This is how... At the very least, I'm going to show you how I've been doing the rest of the of the level. I just killed myself. Wow, okay. Let's, let's just redo that part. I am absolutely certain that this is going to be the last one. Just, just you wait. It's totally going to be that. Just spam jump there to make sure to hang on to the honey where you're supposed to, and then just hang on to the ledge. I mean, to the edge of that honey, and then just run forward through here. Spam the jump button again. You probably can hear it. Uh, my poor keyboard getting punished by my thumb. And shoot. Quickly make our way down. Get past these frogs. Right, jump down to the spike pit. Yeah, we can, we're going to make it, friends. We're going to totally make it. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. Donovan, don't go in there. Don't go in there, friend. Oh, don't panic. Whoa, ultra save with violence. <laughs> that was sweet. Oh, I can't believe that actually worked. That was pretty damn cool. How the whip actually saved my ass by mistake I, I only meant to pick him up but i actually saved him with the whip i think I, okay I, it's okay to just tr throw him down here we can go into the store now uh but we are not done here i guess crushing the whip i wonder if crushing that web is a thing okay this is the crush block puzzle that i i don't need to mess up because i want to get through all that garbage anymore um I don't think we can get past this without pushing this block, right? We need to go through the... Uh, I need to think about this. I don't want to screw this up. Okay, I think I figured it out. I had to think about this. I, I edited it out maybe a couple minutes. I was thinking all the permutations that could be done here. And the problem that I see is that you need to only use one block to get these pa past this two spike ball, a uh, spike pit. Uh, I wouldn't need this guy anymore, so there you go. I should have maybe rescued him as a, a you know, making a point that I, I went out of my way to rescue this man. But now I just see him die. Um, yeah, the way I've been trying to figure out is how to put just one block in the middle of these uh, double spike pit. And the way that I came up with is to push this one first. I don't know if this is the actual solution. I just is the one that I thought about that I think is the way to go about it. Uh, we're going to push this all the way down here and then put this in the middle. And now go up. I swear, I swear I have not tried this. So if it works, I'm going to feel like a genius. Put that there, then push it to the edge. And then... No, 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 not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Uh, this should work now down there and now oh man i really hope i don't fit 
Oh, please don't fall down. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, wow. That was a freaking devious push block puzzle. I have not uh, realized that you could do something like this. I am pretty cool with this. This is the, the homosexual couple right here. No judgment, no judgment whatsoever. It's just, you know, this homosexual couple that has set up camp down there. They're eating their friends in there. They have food for ages. We have vanquished the Honey Ventures. And since this is going to be like a 10 minute video with all the edits, uh, the total time, by the way, it was 20 minutes. That's how much I edited out uh, with all the repeated, all the repeated tries and all that good stuff. Uh, since it's going to be a 10 minute video, I'm going to, I already have one lined up just in case it didn't take too long. Uh, so we're going to have two custom levels of one level each that are really, really challenging. So I'll see you in the next one. And that was a pretty damn cool level, that Honey Ventures from Swashbuckling Sarah. It was very original, very uh, outside the box, is something that I have not seen before. But that was pretty damn cool, short and sweet. I did not get terribly frustrated because, you know, the levels that are just one level, the whole point is getting through the, getting through the whole level in one go, as opposed to, you know, the, the 8 to 10 to 20 level packs. But it does get super tedious if you have to redo the same thing over and over when you're thinking, holy shit, I have to get through a billion more of, of these. You know what I'm saying, brothers? Anyway, this is... Oh, man, I, I totally spaced it out. I usually have the description open uh, to the side. So let me do that. All right, this is Delta Docs' obstacle course. It is just one level. Uh, there has a lot of traps to trip you up. That is the, the exact description. I already messed it up, so let's just kill myself. Uh, I expect a lengthy, lengthy mines level with a ton of awful things to get through and probably some pixel perfect jumps. Oh man, I almost messed that up. But this part is pretty damn easy and I'm glad that we can get through that. Holy shit. Oh yeah, okay. We just hang on to this. Oh, what the? <laughs> Random suicidal spider out of nowhere. Let's just, uh, that's the weirdest thing how the w water is contained by the ladder. It's weird. It's also contained by spikes. Any kind of tile will contain water. It's really strange. Anyway, we gotta do this, and I, I did it again. I mean, I need to s slow down as I go onto that other block. So let's maybe get through all this junk. Let's see. And quickly do this. Nice. All right. Now we can whip past this. And I suppose there's only one way down. Oh, there's a little alien to break our fall. That's nice. And onto the... Ow! Oh, I miscalculated that jump. Uh, it's going to be ice, so it's going to be real difficult to time those jumps. It's going to be a bit of a challenge. And the trick when you are standing on ice is possibly to just walk. And I don't know if I'll be able to do that because... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I need to whip. There you go. And uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do that while doing that because they might be uh, running jumps. Okay, let's jump down there. Just walk to the edge and then hit the run button at the very l at the very last uh, moment. And I should be able here to just run past here. No. Oh man, that's totally designed, so you can't do that. That sucks ass. Let's get back to that area. I, I don't feel like I should edit this part out just yet. It has not got, become tedious so, uh, yet to, to watch, I don't think, but I will be. Don't you worry about that. I will be skipping par uh, past. I'm not going to be making the shortcut, because like I said before, if it's a one level, uh, it's a one level pack, the whole point is to get through it in one go, in just one run. Uh, but I will be editing out, editing out the repeated attempts in case, you know, I don't, want, I don't want the viewing experience to get tedious. So here's what we do. And I guess I'm supposed to... Yes, oh, there you go. It's nice to just let go of that ledge without uh, doing any kind of weird movements. And I suppose we're going to do that again. Just let go of the ledge. Ah, oh, I went too fast. Okay. Uh, the, the rest doesn't look too bad, so let's just get back to that area again. Uh, also, you know, getting through these areas is not horribly difficult, and they're pretty damn fast. It's not like 
it takes forever, we're not pushing blocks. I think the huge deal breaker is the pushing block, man. If you have a push block puzzle, I'm going to cry foul onto that, but other than that, if it's platforming, I have a much, much higher tolerance. I might still give up eventually, or say, okay, I'm going to skip through the shit or create a, a uh, shortcut, but if it's platforming things, it's a lot more entertaining. It's none, none of that boring shit of Push, pushing blocks forever. So let's get past all this junk, get onto that alien, and to the ice. That's pretty cool how the this lighting, this lighting movement to the uh oh, there you go. Nice. The lighting movement to the edge was pretty neat. It was on skating rink. Yeah, uh, uh, nine out of ten on that skating score. Oh wow, wow, wow! I almost did the same thing. Okay, I think I need to jump, but not too much. Oh, it's so difficult to stop running when you're going forward. I almost had that. I almost had that. Let's get back to that area again. Dude, dude, dude. I think this is the last time that I'm going to show the whole thing. And uh, from here on out, I'll just uh, cut out all the repeated uh, platforming all the way to the end. I think that's the, the best way to go about it. Huh? Quickly jump through, nice. Onto this, hang on to the ledge. Almost didn't and almost paid for it. Okay, hang on and then, oh, I jumped way too far. Okay, I'm going to skip right part, right past the beginning, all the way to that point. All right, made that jump. Nice. Okay, we have uh, gone past that stage of the of the level, and now we are going to go. I guess. Uh, Oh boy, elevator platforms are always such a huge pain in the ass. Let's go up this way, I suppose. This seems to go pretty far up, although it does not at this precise moment, but this should get me pretty far up. Far, far up. Another of those awful tongue twisters. Or rather, vocal cord twister, where I uh, mispronounce the vowels because it's... Uh, it's uh, two vowels that are very close to whether far and up, and there are two ways of pronouncing that are just a slight variation of the uh sound, and that's what always trips me up. Always get that problem with e and e, uh, leave and live and, and live. <laughs> so, tripping me up right now, even though I'm trying to make an example of it. Okay, let's. Well, now we are able to jump through this. Oh man, some pixel perfect jumps. Uh, through this bullet course. Let's see if we can get it. Wow. Let's see if we can get most of it right. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. <laughs> this is so freaking difficult. Alrighty, well, hey, we made it through that gauntlet. Okay, it would be so nice to get to the end in this in this one go, not uh, screw up anymore. I almost walked straight to that bullet. That would have been so shameful. Alrighty. This is to be the way to go. And more jumps. Uh, we cannot go for the top, so I guess I just need to make a tiny jump. Holy shit! <laughs> Can't believe I actually not, did not mess that one up. Uh, and I guess I need to do this. No, just hang on to the first one. It makes no sense to be worrying about this. Okay, we're going to go pretty damn slow. I don't want to run straight to a horrible, horrible thing. Uh, we have a Kali out there here. Gotta be very certain not to take some fall damage. How? What? Hmm. This is full damage if I if I go all the way to the bottom there. I think what needs to happen is I need to get the full damage. Get the full damage to fall under the spikes. Oh, okay, that wasn't full damage. That would have been a crazy puzzle, by the way. You, it's requiring you to have enough momentum to go forward and your stun animation to happen right under the spikes. That would have been just horrible. I don't know what might happen down here, I really don't like that, but we're going to use the spider as a way to break our fall. That was nice. We made it! Sweet! <laughs> I beat this level! Oh man, I feel so proud of myself, that was pretty damn cool! I only edited out maybe a whole minute, I only skipped forward like twice, I think. 
uh, I mean, in the editing part. So yeah, that was a pretty cool obstacle course. I like these one-shot levels. They're, they're short and sweet. There's not like a... It's a challenge, but you're not spending an hour in front of this Spelunky getting frustrated. Uh, so I endorse these one-shot, ultra-difficult uh, type of gauntlets because, you know, the whole point... I think it just creates a much different mindset. I wonder what other levels there are. I mean, it, it'll just show dummy levels. Oh, no, this, this is just the random... Um, uh, the default C that always happens. Uh, we just we can just get through it, I suppose, and, and keep on carrying on all the way to Yama, huh? That's a weird. It's just weird. The level editor you cannot really make uh, the random seeds that actually happen within the regular game. Wow, that's awful. I might be k killed here. Yeah, okay, we got killed by the <laughs> random cobra in the rest of the level. That was anticlimactic at best. Uh, yeah, the, the level editor is unable to create the, the randomness that uh, normally happens in the regular uh, generation of levels. It gets pretty damn close, but you cannot really do it. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed that. That was a Dog of Bob Wolf Obstacle Course. I forget again, but I will be all in the description below how to get all these uh, custom levels into your game and the links to all the custom level packs and all that good stuff. This is the Splunky Custom Level Week. This is day number one. Day number two will bring you another one. I hope it will be just as enjoyable or even better. Until then, I bid you farewell.